The constant features of everything I've ever written, from poetry to rapping to grime, aren't the different patterns of lines, just the facts that happen to rhyme. Because personally, with this platform of mine, voicing facts that happen to rhyme stops the world from trapping my mind. If you're trapped in yours, come tap into mine. Let's go back into time. I used to think people don't want to change until I realised they just got a whole lot of pain. And pain can really burn people. It can make you turn feeble. Some hurt people, hurt people. Most of us have had a shock to the system and then had to make a recovery. Luckily, before I got lost in the system, I made a major discovery. All these things I'm talking about, I'm getting closer to sorting them out. All from the fact I talked about them, I just stood up and shared what I thought about them. But I shouldn't be a one-off. Everyone's got a perspective. My objective is not an objective one, but I expect everyone to respect it. Some are accepted, some are rejected, overexposed but underprotected. See, social exclusion is so ugly that many who can see it want to neglect it. While the rest of us will never know the half, it's a long and lonely path. It's not easy being trapped in your own mind. It makes it hard to interact with your own kind. Imagine having so much doubt within yourself that you're scared to go out into the world. Anxiety and inadequacy, that's the reality many are having to see. Imagine feeling like your neck's in the loose, silently fighting the effects of abuse. It might sound berserk, but your own mind can keep you out of work. I started doing poetry to discuss these issues because I realised a lot of people can't relate. All too often they're swept under the rug, but I wanted to spark debate. I've learned hard lessons from daft mistakes and seen silver linings on the darkest days. So my plan was to discuss this stuff in music and then release it in the commercial marketplace. Now when I did that, two things happened. Firstly, complete strangers started opening up. Secondly, they started sharing with each other their struggles and how they've been coping with stuff. I learned that we are stronger than we think and that we can last longer than we think. Yes, yeah, some don't know the half, but just through the process of talking it through, you realise that on this lonely path, there are others out there walking with you. Just keep your eyes on your goal and your plan. BB told me your soul is your brand. So whatever it is weighing you down for the time being, put it in perspective and you won't give a damn because you are the only one holding your hand. Remember, your soul is your brand. You decide if it seems untrue. You decide if your dreams come true. Because there's seven billion people in the world and there's only one you.